Well, have you noticed your physician talking more about cellulite and wrinkles than colds and viruses? Beauty treatments are a cash cow for doctors' offices, and they don't require the headaches of billing insurance. But how much training is actually involved? Here's Channel 8's Janet St. James. I'm just kind of grab that, okay. so just one time. That looks great. Learning to use a laser to reduce wrinkles is a huge shift in philosophy for Dr. Brianna Spooner, a pediatrician. It takes a lot of money and a lot of time to become a physician, and especially as like a pediatrician, I'm not going out and making a ton of money. So I'd like to pay off my student loans before I die. <laughs> the difference between a chemical peel and the micro laser peel will be a chemical Dr. Spooner peel. has gone back to school to learn an additional trade part of a growing trend of medical professionals going outside their specialties you don't want to put too much pressure down to the and into the, the, the world of beauty right now, make sure you have the gel and the, despite a bad economy the number of medical spas has grown 80 percent in the past two years according to the International Medical Spa Association we're going for pigment not vascular the reason money a doctor may make 35 dollars on a chest x-ray a wrinkle-free forehead, 500. A doctor's office earns about 20 bucks for a flu test. A series of underarm hair removal treatments can net 800. The problem is, while specific training is required to become, say, a surgeon, Texas doesn't require doctors to be certified in any specialty to perform skin treatments. Um, in most states, let's say a doctor, nurse, esthetician, laser tech wants to open a laser business, they go out, they buy a laser, the manufacturer, the sales rep comes in for a couple hours and they train them how to use the devices and then they know, go treat your clients. And we think that that's not enough. And some spa technicians working spa too. Technician. Lewis Silverman owns the National Laser Institute in Dallas where doctors and nurses spend a lot of time and money for in-depth training. There are few facilities like it. The FDA receives hundreds of reports annually about injuries from wrinkle fillers and lasers, many at the hands of undertrained practitioners. We're big proponents of, you know, making sure somebody's been in the market for a long, long time. It's FDA approved and there's been, you know, thousands and thousands of treatments done because, you know, new and exciting is fun sometimes, but it's also risky. Silberman admits there's no real way to know if the person working on you is qualified to do skin rejuvenation. Experts recommend asking a lot of questions. Start by asking for credentials. Do you really want a liver expert giving you Botox? If so, ask how many procedures he or she has done. And don't be afraid to walk away if the business seems more like a hobby than a calling. Janet St. James, Channel 8 News.